hey y'all welcome or welcome back to the take on dallas it's your girl kayla brie it's your girl kayla brie a hey, is your girl kayla brie if you are new here welcome if you are not new welcome back thank you so much for tuning in to watch this video today we're doing a real chillax relaxed type of video um i'm going to be talking about my five year update of living here in Dallas, Texas. I haven't done one of these in two years. The last time I updated you guys was on my three year update, which I will link up here and it'll also be linked down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, I have been here five whole years. Um, and so a lot has changed, a lot has happened in this past five years. And so yeah, we're here to talk about it. Um, if you guys want more details on Dallas, I have a whole entire playlist on Dallas. You can research and find and if you have any suggestions of something that you don't find please leave it down below um but this video is just more going to be about a, a update on my life and what's been going on with me in the past five years so if that's something that you're interested in make sure you guys stay tuned for the rest of this video make sure you guys are following us on instagram at the take on dallas on tiktok at the take on dallas and we do have our own community app where you can connect and network with others here in dallas we do host monthly meetups so if that's something that you're interested in it'll all be linked down below for your convenience now without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this video look at you walking with a purpose you ain't gonna change a thing girl you're perfect come join the real nigga team you deserve it girl you're looking like the blessing i've been praying for girl this time is up let me boss you up i want your body okay so a brief recap on when I moved here. So I moved here five years ago, which would put that at 2017. Um, I made the decision to up and leave everything that I ever knew um, and move to Texas with absolutely nothing but the clothes on my back. Um, I had maybe a few boxes and that's about it. I didn't even need a full U-Haul truck because I didn't have much of anything like when I moved into my first apartment I didn't even have a bed I slept on a blanket on the floor I had my MacBook and that's all I can say that was to my name like I didn't have a bed I didn't have dishes and um, just nothing I had absolutely nothing to my name I moved out here completely alone um, no friends, no family, um, just me. And it was extremely rough in the beginning. Um, my first year here, I went through multiple jobs. I kept getting hired and then fired and then hired again and then fired. Um, just for me to realize that I, at the time I was working in the dental field. So I was a dental assistant, uh, specifically or orthodontic assistant. And I had to realize, and it took me years to figure that out. Like, I want to say three, four years, like, no, it was three years, three years for me to figure out that the dental life is just not for me. Like, it's just not me. It's just not a industry that I need to be in. And so I will never go back. That's just not a field of work that I desire to be in. And I don't think that they desire me either. And that's fine. But yeah, my first year I was from job to job. I think I had like seven or eight jobs in one year, which can say a whole lot. Um, it was very rough on my mental. I was struggling financially i was struggling mentally um just being not being able to be around people and things that i'm used to on top of getting acclimated to paying bills by myself i had an apartment back in colorado but i lived with a boyfriend and so we split rent so i never paid bills by myself so i'm having to do a lot of adjusting um paying bills by myself 
li living with the idea that I can't be around my family or my friends. Now I have to make all new friends. All my friends are far away um, and it was hard. It was hard. I would say my first two years, I would I would say I didn't like Dallas at all. I actually hated it here. I was like, why the heck did I move here? But one thing about me is I never gave up. I was like, I have to see this through. Like, I don't know, God, why you have me here. Um, but I know that is a sole purpose and you're, it's, it's in your divine time. And, um... So yeah, I went through it um, in 2020. Of course, a lot of us got let go from our jobs. And um, so I was laid off of a job that I really did like at the time. And I struggled a little bit from that. And I felt like I was already struggling before that. So the pandemic just made it worse, if that makes sense. Um, I got into a relationship that um was ultimately a really great relationship and I feel like that was the saving grace for me in 2020 like if I didn't have that relationship I don't think I would have made it through that year um that relationship was um such um a pivotal moment for me um it taught me so much and I was able to truly figure out like or start the process of figuring out what's for me and what's not for me um so 2020 was rough um my relationship ended up ending in 2021 um and then I just kind of um started trying to find my way and and, I, and I've been doing that for the past two years, just finding my way, finding what works for me um, and letting God lead my path. Like I have gotten so much closer to God in this past just few months, like literally just God has just been so good to me. He's just been um, just opening up my eyes and my heart and just letting me be me but guiding me in the right direction and so um that's just the space that I'm in currently um I did move from I when I first originally moved here I lived in Richardson which is centrally located um I liked it but I I really didn't start liking Dallas until I moved to Plano. Once I moved to Plano, I was like, oh yeah, Dallas, this is it for me. Like, love it here. Um, Dallas is definitely my, f I mean, Plano. Plano is definitely my favorite area. It's definitely the personality of me. Um, and then since then, I have not, I have moved outside of Plano. So now I live further north, um, but I, I really don't like it. Um, I really can't wait for my lease to be up so that I can move back to Plano because where I live is just a little bit too far from civilization and I like to be at least 20 minutes away. Um, so yeah, I did find my area so to speak so I can't wait to get back over to Plano. Um, I will buy a house in Plano because I love it that much and so yeah also in the past year I got a dog um, I was always itching to be a dog mom and I was able to become a dog mom and so I'm so excited that I have me a little puppy and you probably seen him um you know walking around and you'll probably see him walking around here and there because he's just so attached to me look he's back here right by me he's never far um, but yeah, that's just my baby. I just love him so much. Um, I'm so excited to start this next phase of my life and this next, the next five years, the next five years looks like to me, um, to find love again, to start having children, um, getting married, um, getting a house and start building up my family foundation um the last five years were very strugglesome for me very like un just not in the know very undecided very uncertain 
Um, I've now turned 30, so I'm 30 years old. I'm full, fully aware of what I want and where I'm going in life. And so things have changed a lot in the past five years. I, the 25 year old Kayla versus the 30 year old Kayla is definitely totally different. It's been really good. It's been really, really good. And I'm just really excited for the next phase of my life and what that looks like for me. Um, I just know that it'll be me falling in love and having my own family and having a family of my own and just being so close to God and just living in his divine purpose. I see myself living my dream life like career wise making endless amounts of money being able to travel being able to just live my life the way i want to so that is what i see for myself in the next five years and yeah that is my um five year update of me living here in dallas i know if you guys kind of want more details on the backstory check out my three year update because it goes super into depth of you know how I got here and all of the things so if you really really want to know um I do have that video for you um but yeah that is it for this video if you liked this video make sure you guys go ahead and give it a thumbs up it helps with the algorithm and it helps push my videos out so that people like you who are looking to move to Dallas can also view my videos make sure that you are following me over on Instagram at the take on Dallas on TikTok at the take on Dallas and then also join our community app which is a place for you to connect and network we have our own monthly meetups and so if that's something that you are interested in everything will be linked down below for your convenience and yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video